This is a Anna's hummingbird. In October, I got to see some Anna's hummingbirds up close. It's always such a treat to see them as they were sipping nectar from flower to flower. In this moment, I was standing right next to a patch of Mexican bush sage with its spikes of velvety purple and white flowers in full bloom. These flowers attract bees and hummingbirds, which then drink nectar and pollinate the flowers. Hummingbirds have always fascinated me. They're just so small, so charming, and just super cool in how they hover and zip around. I want to focus on Anna's hummingbird today and share a few fun facts that I learned about them. Let's dive in. If you live along the west coast, chances are that the hummingbird you're seeing is an Anna's hummingbird. Anna's hummingbird is the most common species of hummingbird along the Pacific coast. In the 1900s, people planted more exotic flowering plants, which provided these hummingbirds with nectar and nesting sites to expand their breeding range. According to All About Birds, they are common in yards, parks, residential streets, eucalyptus groves, riverside woods, savannas, and coastal scrub. If you hear the sound, you're hearing a male Anna's hummingbird call. Let's learn more about how to recognize Anna's hummingbirds. You can recognize them by their pink iridescent throat patch, also known as a gorget. They have long pointy beaks, a bronze green back, green flanks, and tiny stubby legs. These birds weigh about a nickel. So tiny and light. If you're in an area that has Anna's hummingbirds, chances are that there might be other hummingbird species that overlap with parts of the Anna's hummingbird range. They are the Rufus hummingbird, Calliope hummingbird, Allen's hummingbird, and Costa's hummingbird. When I was filming these hummingbirds, I was really fascinated by how they fly. Hummingbirds move their wings in a figure eight position, allowing them to hover and move in various directions with their wings almost a blur. Anna's hummingbirds have been known to flap their wings about 40 to 50 times per second during flights. You can barely see the wings move. Let's talk about the name Anna's hummingbird. First off, the name hummingbird came to be because these birds make a humming sound when they fly. But who is Anna? In 1829, this hummingbird species was formally described by the French naturalist René Lesson, who chose Anna to honor Anne Desling, who was a French courtier and married the ornithologist Francois Victor Messina. Alright, my last little fun fact. While hummingbirds are mainly solitary, Suggestions for a group of hummingbirds have been called a bouquet, glittering, a hover, a shimmer, or a tune. It's so fun. Hummingbirds are such a delight to see. It always makes me happy to recognize an Anna's hummingbird from its features and its standout pink iridescent throat patch. If you want to attract hummingbirds to your space, you can attach a sugar feeder or even plant some hummingbird-friendly native flowers. I hope that this video sparks your appreciation of them more. If you have any fun Anna's hummingbird facts or experiences to share, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching!